G'day guys, Greg here. Now, today I am off to Moss Burger. They got this burger called a Crispy Fish Burger, and well, I had one a couple of years ago, and I thought it was awesome, but I've never done a review on one before, and well, I just want to go and grab one and see if they're as good as I can remember they were, or if maybe I just got lucky with one, or maybe <laughs> that's how good they are. So let's whip into Moss and grab a fish burger and suss it out. Let's go. All right, the crispy fish burger from Moss, seven dollars fifty. This cost. Wow, I'm amazed. It doesn't have a one zero at the start. Anyway, let's suss it out. <laughs> oh, 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 well, how about that? Comes in like a a chocolate box. Gee. Can't wait to see this. Oh, have a look at this. They put it in sideways. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, slide it out. All right. Look, look how beautiful that is. I mean, it's not crushed. It hasn't been pushed down. It's still in like perfect looking condition. That's incredible. Now on this Moss burger, well it's a you know a cheeseburger size. And well it's got some mayo, well, tons of mayo and some onion there with some cheese, a piece of their fish and some beautiful lettuce, and a bit of mustard. And that's about it. <laughs> but it does look very pretty. Man, I can't believe how much mayo is on this fish burger. <laughs> It's like, just tons of it. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh. Well, it's some pretty tasty, creamy mayo, sort of koopy-ish. It's probably a buck's worth of koopy on this. <laughs> right. Oh, let's see um, if I can just get a bit of fish on its own. Mm. It says that it's cold it inside, so yeah, tasting fine so far. All right, come at me. Although I can notice that this bread roll does feel a little bit stale, but that might be the style. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty tasty. <laughs> there is a ton of bread on that though. If you're trying to lower your carbs, this might not be the right burger for you. <laughs> but so far, the flavours are pretty nice. Uh, is, it's what I expected. Is it a little bit better though? Well, let me just keep diving in. That is a ton of mayo. Mm. It's still pretty tasty though. Now normally uh, I probably would think too much mayo on a burger is probably a good thing. In this case, well, <laughs> there's so much mayo on it that, well, it, I guess it does balance out that piece of bread which is like two inches thick and a little bit dry so it sort of compensates with that but well let me just say I'm not complaining so far it's actually quite enjoyable and even though this bread looks a bit stale it sort of feels a bit stale on top but inside it's still kind of moistish so it's very interesting I am intrigued now I'm not really getting the taste of the cheese on there. I think the mayo drowns out a bit and even this onion, I don't, I'm not even really noticing that. It, 
I'm sort of just getting this taste of bread, which could be sweet. Not too sweet, but a little bit. And a ton of mayo. The mustard, oh yeah, I totally forgot that was even there. Probably could have done with a little bit more of, the, of that on there, but mate, so far it's going down all right, and I am enjoying it. But I wonder what score it's going to get out of 10. Well, value-wise, 750. <laughs> this box is worth two bucks. The burger. Oh, well, I mean, it's probably a bargain nowadays, let's face it. Flavor-wise, well, I, I really did enjoy it. It was tasty and it had, like, a bit of fish flavor there. <laughs> Not too much. In fact, there wasn't too much of any other flavor other than mayo and... I did enjoy the crunchiness of that lettuce. I couldn't taste half the ingredients on it. But even though I couldn't taste them, they still all blended in nicely together and tasted all right. Don't know how that happens, but it did today. It could be a little bit too doughy. It could be a little bit too mayonnaise-y. It could do with more, well, lettuce and cheese and, and, and mustard and a bit of onion there. But besides that, for the burger that I got, I thought it was all right. And for that reason, for my all over value, all over flavor, all over taste, all over everything score. I think the crispy fish burger deserves a... a 7.9 out of 10. It was pretty good. It probably wasn't as great as the first one I had, or maybe my taste buds had changed, but I still thought it was pretty good. and. I did enjoy it, and it is a burger that I'd come back again for. Although, they do have a lot of other burgers, some with rice buns and things like that, so I think if I did come back, I'd be trying something like that. But anyway, there's a the fish burger. Finally, I've had one after years of looking. But anyway, it does taste pretty good, and if you did go and get one, I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy it. Well, that's all today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I ate a fish burger. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's kitchen.